We got our Linux. Woohoo! I don't know what is what, but uh, this is all gonna go into the attic. It's the heater. <laughs> You're being filmed. We keep the front pretty even. And then from the front to the back, it goes downward just a touch. We have been talking about finally getting AC, and now the unit has arrived. We got our Linux. Woohoo! These guys came through on the clutch. I don't know what is what, but uh, this is all gonna go into the attic. And this too over here. It's gonna keep us nice and cool and nice and warm at the same time, whatever we need. It's the heater. The burners and everything are in there. We were so excited to finally get our AC unit and also the just the HVAC unit in itself so that we could have heat when we needed it. But mostly we were trying to get through the boiling Texas heat. So when that unit arrived from our HVAC guys, we were thoroughly excited. There's the hole. Let's see if it lines up. It goes right down into the kitchen. This is the vent for the stove. Yeah. I heard something fall. I heard something fall. Oh, you did? Look at that big yard you got. Yeah. We have a skylight. How cool is that? Huh. Now I gotta see if this pipe We'll line up. Today I'm building a cement slab for the AC condenser unit that goes on the outside of the house. Nate worked on building a little cement slab so that that unit on the outside could sit and rest on top of it. It does come with like a slab that you can put it on, but it is not as sturdy as building your own cement slab. If you are installing your own AC unit on the outside of the house and you want something stable for it to rest on, maybe consider doing a DIY project like we did and create your own cement slab that it could rest on instead of using those janky, cheapy little slabs that maybe comes with it. So it's going to be 36 by 36 square. So what I did was I cut two boards exactly 36, and then I cut two boards that are 37 and a half each because they're gonna be inside. So these boards have to be a little bit longer because uh, they're gonna lose three quarters of an inch each side. So that's why I did it like that. And now I'm just putting these this frame together and then I'm gonna go level the ground out real good and make sure it's ready for this. I'm gonna drill these first so it doesn't split the wood. One thing I like to do is, uh, if I'm going to pour concrete, is to screw in as opposed to nail, because then uh, sometimes it's easier to get a screw out later um, after it dries than it is to get a nail out. It's going to go over here. You got the ground already, right here. There's the cement. That was the board that we were going to use. Is that how you use to measure it? Well, you that's what the size is, yes. So did you use this size to... I measured that size and then I'm going to do the exact same size here. Okay. <laughs> You're being filmed. Okay, so what I did here was I took this big nice rake here and leveled it out. And I used the shovel and everything to make sure it's smooth. Then I went over it with this. So what I do is I take the frame and I put it down here. And then I hammer all these wooden... What? I'm leaving to my shadow. And then, I wait, and then I hammer all these wooden posts in the ground so that what I can do is go like this oh. and I check and see if it's even. And if it's not, I lift up one side and then I screw it in so that it won't move. Look at you. It should be right dead center. Uh, dead this, one center? Is, this one is just a little to the right, which is fine because I want it to go off the side a little bit if the rain comes on. So that's why I let it, I, I went just off center, but it just shouldn't matter even if it is dead center. And then 
what I did was I took from the front to the back and I made sure it's at an angle downward slope. What I did was uh, made the bubble go to the right a little bit, which means it's going to go down on both sides. We keep the front pretty even and then from the front to the back, it goes downward just a touch. So that way the rain falls off. That way the rain falls off and it's not even enough for the eye to see. Yeah. Cool. So next I will put some stone in there, just a little bit of rebar, and then I'm going to start mixing up the cement. Cool. I don't have perfect stone. I'm just going to take some of this, try to get the dirt off and then put it in. We're all about reusing things around here. And so Nate also grabbed some of the rocks and the stones from when our yard was previously graded for our swell. And we had piled some up in the backyard. So he just took some of that, reused it to throw down into the little cement slab area that he was creating. Then he would pour the concrete right on top of that. All the little materials and things that we have preserved all around the house, we try to make the best use out of it and reuse it as much as possible. Hey, save money. We're just uh, pouring back into the house what we've taken out it's just a cycle that we continue to learn and grow from I'm gonna dump this rock in here like I said this thing pretty it's this comes from the driveway so, you got it from that pile back there yeah because I don't want to buy rock so hopefully this will be just what the doctor ordered You gonna pour the concrete on top of the rock? Yeah, I think I'm gonna spread that out first and then just see if I need more or not. Might be enough, because this is small. And then I'll level this out real good. Yeah, that's probably plenty. And then you have to mix the concrete with water and then pour it in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash all this down with uh, my uh, compactor thing. Really? To make it flat. Oh. Normally I would want to go a little bit below the ground but uh, before I did something like this, but in this case, I'm gonna raise this ground up later. Ooh, don't hit your foot. You gotta put some elbow grease into that. Yeah, you do. You're gonna be a strong man. Already am. <laughs> that looks hard. That's pretty flat. You just chipped the wood right here. Did I? <laughs> oh. Right there. That's okay. Oh boy. There. Now I'm gonna start mixing cement up. I may have made it a little bit too soupy, but. Does that mean you have to add more? I could, but I might just keep it. Use it. I'm just gonna do it anyway because it'll soak right in those rocks and everything. Okay. So let's go for it. Alright, I just don't want to hit that piece of wood there. Okay, we're good, right? Ooh. Do you need to make more or is that good? No, I need, I'm going to need more, but I don't know how much. So you'll smooth that out and get some more in there? Yep. Wow. And then after that, you just let it dry. Yeah. You got to make sure you like even everything out, you know. I wonder if one more bag might be enough. Yeah. How much is this? This is two bags. Oh, okay. Did you add some rocks in there? No, that comes with it. Oh, that cement is with the rocks? Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know, maybe so you don't, so you don't, uh, like a filler maybe. Probably makes it more strong too. Good question. Hmm. Wow, it's almost full. I'm going to go ahead and put these in now. Oh, just like that? Yeah. What is that for? This is rebar, so when the concrete sticks to it, uh -huh. it doesn't crack as easy. Oh. And I'll just bury it a little bit. 
So you have to do that when you do concrete? Yeah, they do that with concrete, yeah. One bag? One bag in here. Hopefully this is, might need another one. Oh, one more maybe? Uh, no, this might be good. I want to make sure it's like all the way up to the top pretty much. And then you'll remove the wood? Well, I'm going to let it dry for a while first. So you eventually move the wood? Yeah. Or? Okay. You got to keep that to, to hold it on. When do they put, plan on putting the unit on? Well, it has to dry first, so, so, so it this looks is like it. it's just a little bit under where I want it. Okay. But I'll, I'll make it work somehow. Are you going to do another one? We'll see. If I do, it won't be a whole bag. And then you'll smooth it out. How you yeah. Do it. And then just leave it and let it dry? Yep. We're gonna see how close we are here. Yeah, you want it. You want it to be like, you know, hitting. So maybe a quarter of a bag. I don't know. And then you go over it when it's full, and then you and it'll make pack it. it down with this thing. So I'm gonna go make another quarter or half a bag. Cool. Yep. Whoa! What'd you do? Okay, so it actually took the full whole bag. Bag, yeah. Is that what uh, you there's, wanted? A little, there's a little too much in here, but that's a good thing. So you you kind of pound it to make it move like that. And then uh, I'm going to get this, little bit of this over here. You, and you, it kind of pushes the rocks down, you know, when you pound it like that. And it helps the air bubbles come oh. up too, if there's any air bubbles. Where'd you learn this? Uh, uh, just here and there. YouTube? YouTube and do it. I've done this before a few times. Is any falling on the sides? Yeah, that's okay too. It'll just crumble up and dry? Yeah, and then I can just pick it out later. I think it's better to have more, more. than you need. Than and then you're going to flatten it out. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you just keep working that and then let it set. Let it set, yep. And then, and as it like starts to harden, you pull the boards off when it's hardening, but it's still not quite hard. And then it'll harden it, so it won't and harden. And then I can uh, smooth the top out, and then probably I'm gonna try to edge it on the sides. Look at you, like a professional <sighs> cement man. Hopefully, hopefully. It's like a little art project. You are an art project. Am I? Yeah. This pad has been drying for the past three hours, probably. So. What I want to do is take this broom over the top and try to smooth it out a little bit. But it still gave it some kind of texture. I think it's okay. It's still wet a little bit, so. Is it supposed to be a little bit wet or dry? Yeah. We'll find out. I don't know if I should have uh, done it sooner. Is that what it's supposed to look like? We'll find out, eh? And if I have to, I can just spray down water on the top again and smooth it out or something. Is this what it looks like when you smooth it out? Mm, I'm just learning. I don't know. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. You're learning a lot. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have waited a little bit too long. Oh. I'm gonna do... A little water? I'm gonna do a little water and then I'm gonna just smooth it out with a knife. Oh. A trial knife thing and I'm gonna try that. Okay. Either way, it's not a big deal. Is it too hard? I should have, I should have done this earlier is what I should have done. Oh, really? I completely forgot. Oh. But, uh, like I said, it's... What would that have done if you did it earlier? Um, it would have smoothed it out? It would have pushed the rocks down further, but I think I'm getting it still. Okay. It looks like I'm... Um, You're going to get it down, maybe? Yeah, you see I'm starting to push the rocks down. Oh, okay. So, just, so that's like, what... I'm just that's, doing it backwards a little bit. So that's kind of what you want to do. So if you did that when it was wetter earlier, it would just push it down and then dry yeah. it. Yeah. So the goal is to get the rocks down? Yeah, you want it to be like smooth. smooth. Oh. The top. 
But luckily, it's still setting up, so. What does that mean? It's still like soft enough that I'm pushing these down. Okay. It's gonna take like two days to fully harden. Okay. But I mean, I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to get all those rocks down. Yeah, I think so. Wow, looks nice. It's coming apart. And it'll First still dry? Around. How do you think it looks? I think it's fine. It should look pretty good. So you're just taking the wood and then letting it stand I'm on the I'm these and then I'm gonna let it, um, that way it'll have the data dry better without the wood on them. It'll have the what? I think by taking the wood off, it'll, it'll like have more ability to dry. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, that's one side. The bottom is gonna, I'm gonna put more dirt in here so it'll be kind of buried. So, we got a nice little cement slab. Yeah, look at that, huh? But like I said, I'm gonna put the dirt up to halfway maybe or a little bit less. We should have put our initials in there or something. Yeah, no, huh? Why don't we ever think to do that? We're gonna have more cement around here. Right, is that it? That's it. So this was a nice creative project that we were able to do ourselves and build it with great quality. There she is. If you want to read more about this journey and see additional photos and more information, check out our blog, journeydowntheroad.com. You can also pick up a free small space living guide there. Stay tuned with our adventures, subscribe so that you can continue to follow along with us. If you are enjoying this content, we would love for you to like this video. Well, I don't like that. I want it to be in inverted. So what I'm gonna do, hey possum. Don't wanna yeah. disturb it. We're sorry, little guy. <laughs> this is the last step before we put the primer on. Hey. Whoa, are you priming? All right, I had the primer. Wow. And then I'm going to invert it.